good Tito here. And today I'll be revisiting the dribble up ball. So one thing I do like about dribble up is that they actually ask their users what feedback and what things they could change so that it's not just them doing it. And the people who actually use it, give them feedback so they can improve the app. And I've got to say, they've done pretty good. So first up is the app itself. So they've actually improved like sharing features and they've also improved the activity feed, how many dribbles you've done, things like that, what you could share. So it's a really like intuitive type of thing. So a little bit about the ball, the wear and tear is uh, not too bad. Like as you can see, it has a lot of gray spots, a lot of grainy spots where it like wore out. That might be because of my garage floor or outside, which I where I use this the most. And yeah, the paint didn't really age too well. Don't get me the wrong, the ball is still very durable. Just the paint didn't age too well and it has a few cracks on it. But other than that, it's a still very usable ball. Everything is pretty much still the same. Freestyle has become a bit better where you can like share your moves and things like that, which, yeah, best of the best. And the ball has dropped in price a lot, so you can get it on a discount uh, for around 50, 60 bucks is what I saw it for. It might be changed, but yeah, that's about what I saw it for. I thought 80 was really good for this ball, but now 50, 60, that's a gotta cop. Scanner still works, so props to that. And that's pretty much all for this revisit. If you guys did enjoy, then go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you guys want me to do more revisited episodes, go ahead and tell me down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe as we're five away from 500. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace.